Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update on this Sunday. I want to look at the week ahead, and my first stop is going to be water vapor satellite imagery. So remember on this again, where you have the, the oranges and the reds, that's your drier air aloft, and then your moisture is going to be in your whites and your blues. And it's all about the storm track, and it hasn't changed, guys. It's still favoring the Pacific Northwest and really BC and Canada. I mean, that's where you've got moisture out here that's being routed up into the same places. And you've got two or three different storm systems that are going to roll across British Columbia, uh, coastal range and interior. And we'll talk about rain snow line coming up here in a second. But everybody else, look at all of this dry air across uh, the Intermountain West. It is going to be a long, dry stretch for a lot of the lower 48. So, and I've got two... Uh, different mountain locations we'll look at. Uh, I'll show you an example of that. Here are my bullet points for this update. So storm track favoring BC, that hasn't changed. Uh, rain snow line, about 7,000 feet for most places in the interior in BC. And there is going to be some accumulation, and I'll show you my forecast for that coming up. But everybody else, lower 48, Intermountain West, it is a big dome of high pressure with abnormally warm and abnormally dry air. And sometimes this happens in September, even early October, before the pattern starts to turn a little bit more active. All right, one example. So this is Vail Pass humidity in the uh, the atmosphere, and you can read the timeline from right to left. So the next 48 hours, uh, roughly, maybe even up to 60 hours. But what I'm seeing here, and this is a vertical slice of the atmosphere, the bottom line on this is that it's it's mainly dry air that has flooded the atmosphere over Colorado. So this would be representative of the Vale area, the I-70 corridor, and through all layers, yeah, the drier dominates. There's just tiny little bits of precip, tiny little bits of moisture in the in the atmosphere. But what this says is that it is a stable dry pattern if you're looking to climb high into the mountains of Colorado for at least the next three days, and actually it's probably the next five to seven days. Uh, this is out to Utah up there. Uh, the forecast is a dry one. It is a stable one. You know, other than this afternoon up there, you might have a rain shower. Um, it is a totally dry forecast at Alta uh, for the next five to seven days. And you can clearly see um, it is dry in the precip categories of rain and snow. There's a little bit of afternoon wind each day, maybe 15 to 30 mile an hour gust. Otherwise, it's calm in the in high temps up there at Alta at about 60 each afternoon so it is going to be a warm dry forecast now one place that has not been has been the total opposite a real disaster out here so i went in and um, put together an accumulated rainfall uh, radar estimated graphic here um, what you're looking at here is north south carolina parts of tennessee um, and i went ahead and put some of the labels on here anywhere from 12 to 16 inches of rain and the reason this was such a big event, you, if you remember 2013 in Colorado when we had that that rain, that rain bomb that hit on the northern front range, it's the same concepts where you have orographic precip lifted and then dropped and fanned out through a lot of the uh, uh, the mountainous areas of the Appalachians. The same thing happened here, a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. Um, so that's what you probably heard about what's been going on out there. I just want to put some numbers on it for you. All right, back here to Colorado, here is my, uh, here's a jet stream forecast. So by 1130 tonight, jet stream, that super highway of wind in the upper atmosphere that guides storms around, it, it is continuing to favor British Columbia, Canada, with the lower 48 on the south, warmer, drier side. There's Thursday, there's Friday, there's Saturday, 10-5. It's the same thing with high pressure for the lower 48. There's Monday, and there's Tuesday. 10 a real no, really no change in that forecast with that type of jet stream orientation all right precip forecast the forecast rain and snow on this and cloud cover for that matter starting this afternoon at 5 30 you've got rain snow up there in parts of a bc again that rain snow line interior bc at about 7,000. all right let me move this into the future so there's monday Monday night, Tuesday, another storm system rolling through BC and parts of Canada into Wednesday. Still some snow accumulating up there. Um, next storm system loads up for 10-4, 10-5 in BC and slides on through. But look at the lower 48. There's absolutely nothing. It is just dry. Dry as a bone. Just like that cross section I showed you in Colorado. Uh, I mean, there's just nothing in the atmosphere. It's it's totally dry. All right, so we'll end there on 10-8. Here's my snow forecast. It's all up in parts of BC, Northwest Territories, and Canada. Um, and I'll zoom in on that, but notice I've got nothing for the lower 48. Here's a zoomed in version of that. 
Um, and definitely some accumulation on the higher peaks here. I mean, that's that's not in question. Uh, Mid-mountain, you're looking at much lighter accumulations. Uh, again, most of this is happening at 7,000 feet or higher through the interior, but some lighter accumulations as you get lower down um, on the mountain, mid-mountain or so. But some pretty big accumulation up there in the, the higher latitudes of B.C. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, this mountain weather update on this Sunday. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.